Hello, this video will show how to integrate Tax1099.com and QuickBooks Online. Please note you can also integrate QuickBooks desktop companies using this method as long as the company file is synced to Intuit Sync Manager. You can start that process from either the Intuit App Center or Tax1099.com's dashboard. This demo will specifically look at the QBO integration, but the steps will be very similar for Sync QuickBooks desktop companies. We start the process from the Apps page in QuickBooks Online. Scroll down to All Apps to find Tax1099.com. You can click on our logo or the Learn More button. On the Tax1099.com app card, at the bottom of the screen, you can select to see the full details of the app or choose to try it free. I'm going to click Try It Free to connect the app and then click OK in the You're Almost Done pop-up. Choose the tax year you want to import and click Proceed. We can import the current year plus the last two years of 1099 miscellaneous forms from QuickBooks Online. This message informs you that all amounts that come over from QuickBooks Online will go to Box 7 and tells you how you can change the box numbers in bulk, and I'll show you how to do that later too. I'll click OK, and the Edit Grid displays. For efficiency, to review more records at the same time, you want to scroll to the bottom of the page and increase the number of records that display. I'll bump this up to 1,000 per page and scroll back up to the top. The yellow dot beside this payer indicates that some vendor records have complete data, but others have missing or invalid data. Click the filter icon in the flag column heading to view any records with errors on this page. Any vendor you want to create a 1099 for needs to have a green dot next to the name. You can download the errors to Excel. Let's go ahead and correct these errors. Click on the recipient name. Here we see that the EIN is missing, so I'll fill that out and click Update. Notice that our system also looks for invalid zip codes. So I'll fill that in and click Update. Let's correct the next error. And I'll click Update again. Now I'm not going to have you sit there while I go down the line and correct every single error here. I just wanted you to see the process, what that looks like, click on the recipient name, and make that correction there. Once you have made any corrections, you can also use the Edit button over here to change the box value or box number as well. To change box numbers in bulk, you can also select multiple vendors or all payments for a payer and use the Apply to Selected Recipient option to change the box number. Here's where, if all of the amounts are associated with box 7, you can make bulk updates. When updates are complete, you can export the data to Excel or move forward with the process by selecting the applicable vendors and clicking Next. You can use the Select All feature, or if you have records on more than one page, you can select the vendors on each page before proceeding. And here we see that all of our records came over successfully. On the Select Forms page, you can use the Schedule All Vendor eFile button to choose the date to send the information to the federal agencies. You can delay the e-file to the IRS up to March 31st to give yourself extra time to make changes to filing information without having to issue corrected forms. So you can make the changes in bulk here or specify different dates for each form. On this page, you can also choose the delivery method, email or mail, to send copies to the recipients. If you want to print and mail the forms yourself, make no selection in those columns. TIN matching is available here to help prevent penalties for mismatched taxpayer ID and name combinations. State filings to non-combined federal state filing states can also be chosen here if applicable. You can also view a preview copy, edit, or delete forms at this point. Select the vendors you want to create forms for and click Next. You can use Select All here too. This message states that you have opted to print and mail 1099s yourself and that you can use the Manage Forms screen to change that later. 
Enter your payment details here and click Pay Now. We will send you a confirmation email and a receipt for the payment. Email copies go into our queue to be sent as soon as possible. Mailed copies go out within 24 hours. You can check the status of the copies from the dashboard. We have now completed the steps to bring QBO data into tax1099.com.